Hey guys, welcome to Make Tech, and today we're going to look at focusing the laser on your CO2 laser engraver. To focus the laser, all you're going to need is a scrap piece of wood and something to wedge under the wood. I'm going to use this piece of rubber hosing simply because I have it kicking around and it's kind of non-slip, but you can use whatever you have kicking around, including another piece of wood. Now the reason you need to find the focus point is because the lens in your laser head focuses the laser beam down into a fine point kind of like a triangle. This focus point length can vary depending on the type of lens you have in your laser head. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you find the particular focus length for your lens. To start, all you want to do is make sure that your scrap piece of wood is on an angle. As you can see, I've used my piece of hose to wedge my board. Now all you're going to do is engrave a straight line about the length of your scrap piece of wood. When that's done, have a close look at your line and find the point where the line is the thinnest. Mine looks the thinnest right about here. Now you want to take your laser head and move it over that point that you just marked. Using some calipers, measure the distance between that area you just marked and the tip of your laser head. As you can see, I got 20 millimeters with mine. Which means to focus my particular laser, my laser head needs to be 20 millimeters away from the material I'm working on. One easy way to set up your focus length is to make yourself a little feeler gauge like I've done here. I can simply run this between my material and my laser head and get the correct focus length. So you'll see I have some other numbers on here. We got an 18, 19, 21, and 22 millimeters here. That's because when you are cutting material, you actually want your focus point to be slightly below the surface of the material in order to get the best cut. So that's where the 18 and 19 millimeters come in handy. Now when you're engraving, sometimes you may want to actually blur the engraving line a little bit. So this is when I would set it to a 21 or 22 to kind of give a blur effect so everything isn't so crisp on the engraving. For those of you who want the file for this feeler gauge, I'm going to place a link in the description area, but just remember that your machine obviously may have a different focal length, so you may have to adjust the file to whatever focal length you need. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. For those of you who haven't watched the rest of the videos in this series on CO2 lasers for you beginners, please make sure to check the links in the description box below as I'll have them all listed there. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell to keep updated on all my latest videos.